What's up guys, today I want to share with you a really cool Core Web Vitals tool that can measure your rankings in the Core Web Vitals against all of your competitors. It's a great tool to have a look at to really change your perspective on how much of a big deal the Core Web Vitals update is going to be. Now for those of you who don't know, the Core Web Vitals is an update that is coming in May 2020, so anywhere from two to six weeks from now, and it's going to measure three factors. Largest Contentful Paint, which is the largest thing that will be displayed above the fold on your website. So how long does that big thing, that big banner or the big image that you have displayed above the fold on your website, how long does it load? So the Google benchmark for this is two and a half seconds. If it loads in under two and a half seconds, it means that you are going to pass the Core Web Vitals with a good score in the green. If it's faster than four seconds, it means it needs improvement, but it's in the amber. And then anything slower than that is red, meaning it is poor. Now, one thing that you can do for Largest Contentful Paint is to move any images that are above the fold, move them below the fold and turn lazy loading on. It usually fixes the problem. Another thing that you can try to do is make sure that the image that you have at the very top of every single page, so that might be your logo for your website, make sure that it is optimized so that it loads as quickly as possible. So you don't want it to be five megabytes in size. Try to optimize the size of the image, re-upload it to make sure it doesn't load too slowly. A cumulative layout shift is the next one. That means if something moves on the screen as the screen loads. So for example, when ads load, sometimes the ad loads and then it moves paragraphs below it down so it has space to fit into the screen. So that's one of the problems with advertising is it often causes a significant cumulative layout shift. Another thing that caused cumulative layout shift issues for my website was the exit intent pop-up. I'm not sure why it caused that problem, but I got rid of the exit intent pop-up and it solved my cumulative layout shift issues. And the third thing that they're looking at is the first input delay. As far as I'm aware, it means how long does it take before people can interact with your website? So they want it to be less than 100 milliseconds for green and less than 300 milliseconds for amber. And then anything slower than that will be red, meaning it's poor. Now here's my Core Web Vital score for my biggest website. I'm currently working with a Zoic using their Leap optimization to try to speed this up even more. It's currently using the Site Speed Accelerator. So my Core Web Vital score for mobile, you can see it's in amber for two of the things and then the first input delay is green. And then the desktop score, I am red for cumulative layout shift. I assume that's because there is a banner ad that is causing some shifts. So obviously I'm not doing perfectly for my Core Web Vitals scores at the moment. But with that in mind, I'm not particularly worried. Now I might have egg on my face in two to six weeks if I get absolutely slammed for the speed of my website in the upcoming update. But even if I get hit in the upcoming update, I don't think it's going to be because of my Core Web Vitals score. And this is why I think that. I used a SERP speed comparison tool called Redico, and I'll leave a link to it down below. And it actually shows me that I'm faster than most of my competitors. So if I get hit for having a slow core web vital score, so too should all of my competitors, meaning it all comes out in the wash and any punishment that I receive can't be specifically because of core web vitals because I'm just as fast, if not faster than my competitors. Now, before I go on here, I should say that Luke Jordan is the person who alerted me to this. He talked about it in Amelia Gardner's live stream a couple of weeks ago. Luke has got a pretty cool YouTube channel. He talks about the same sort of stuff as I do, but he's got a sort of a funny take on a lot of things. I think it's important to shout out other YouTubers in this space, especially if you hear information from them. So what I'm gonna do at the end of this video is the two videos that I usually have in the end screen will be links to videos videos from Luke's channel. And they're two of my favorite ones of Luke's that are really interesting and engaging. So I would encourage you to please go over to Luke's channel, see if you can get a few more subs from my subscriber base to show him some thanks for uh, showing me and now you this tool. So for this tool, what you need to do is enter the country where you are trying to rank your website, the keyword that you're trying to rank for, and what your URL is. This tool usually works best if you're already ranking on the first page of Google. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the keyword how to feed a cat with a cone. So how to feed a cat if it's got like one of those cone things on because it's you know, just been to the vet. So this says it's got 320 search volume and the winner at the moment is preventativevet.com. So I'm going to put in this preventativevet.com here. 
If this was one of my websites, I'd put my website's URL in. The keyword is how to feed a cat with a cone. So let's test it to see if preventativevet.com is going to get a negative hit from the upcoming Core Web Vitals update because of their site speed. So I've let that test run and the top 10 results come back. So you can see from this preventativevet.com that they fail the largest contentful paint, they fail the first input delay, and they fail cumulative layout shift. But if you look at all of their competitors, barely any of their competitors are really doing all that well. You can see that there are red all across the board except one or two little bit of green here and there. So what you can see is if these people are going to get hit by a Core Web Vital update, so too would all of their competitors. So no one's really going to get a boost out of it. It's all gonna come out in the wash and if anyone gets a ranking boost, it's most likely going to be from something other than their site speed. So remember, this might be a core update and things like content relevance might be significantly more important to the Google algorithm than site speed. In fact, I don't think site speed is going to be the most important factor now or into the future. Content relevance and content quality are always going to be more important factors. So if you get hit by the upcoming update and then you go to this tool and you can see, hang on a second, these people ranking above me have worse core web vitals than me. Well, that's because Google's not just ranking you based on core web vitals. I can already see that everyone's gonna be freaking out after this update saying, wow, I got absolutely slammed because my core web vitals is bad. You need to stop and think core Google algorithm updates, they have so many factors inside of them. And it's one of the reasons why we always struggle knowing why some websites went up and some went down during a core update. So just because we know that Core Web Vitals is going to be in the upcoming update, we don't know how much of a weighting it will have compared to all of the other things that Google squeezes into the update. So in other words, A, I don't think Core Web Vitals is going to be as big a deal as we think because there are so many other factors that will impact your rankings. B, if you get hit in the upcoming update, don't automatically assume it was because of your site speed. Use this tool to see whether or not competitors above you already have site speeds that are worse than yours, meaning it's not site speed, which is the factor that is causing you to not rank as highly as you would have liked. And C, you don't need to outrun the bear. You don't need to beat Google. You just need to outrun your competitors. So there's this metaphor that we have of there's a bear chasing you and your friends in the woods and it's gonna eat one of you. It's gonna eat the people behind you as long as you're faster than them. So applying that metaphor here, you don't have to be green for all of the core web vitals. You just need to be a little bit better than all of your competitors. And if you use this tool, you'll realize that a lot of your competitors are not even optimizing at all all for Core Web Vitals. Stick to the basics. Make sure that you've got a caching app installed. Make sure that you're uploading optimized images. If you're using a Zoic, make sure you turn on Site Speed Accelerator or Leap, which is the new version of Site Speed Accelerator, which is free. Depending on the niche, just doing those things is probably going to put you ahead of a lot of your competitors who aren't even thinking of optimizing. All right, as I mentioned, two of my favorite of Luke's videos are linked next to me right now. Please do go over to his channel and subscribe to say thanks to him for showing me and now you this cool tool. And let me know in the discussion what you think is going to happen with the Core Web Vitals update next month.